Today, the free world and the communist world are locked in a peculiar struggle for the minds of men. They have launched a subtle war of diplomatic maneuver, propaganda, deception and calculated intimidation. It is a war of incidents rather than campaigns. It is a war in which a carefully timed show of force can be more effective than a pitched battle. It is an economic, political, and psychological struggle. It is the sort of war which is new to the American army. Yet the stakes are the highest in history. They are the whole world and the freedom of all mankind. In this cold war, perhaps even more than in a normal war, understanding the communist enemy is terribly important. It was to help further this end that Senator Henry Cabot Lodge sponsored the Alien Enlistee Program of 1950, now generally called the Lodge Act. Under the provisions of this legislation, political refugees from any country behind the Iron Curtain were given the opportunity of enlisting in the United States Army for a period of five years. At the end of this time, if their record was honorable, they could become American citizens. Today, their first-hand knowledge of communism is an invaluable asset to your army in this strange battle called the Cold War. Right now on the big picture, I'd like you to meet some of these Lodge Act soldiers. Commanding officer of one group is Lieutenant Colonel G.E. Hartel. Colonel, I wonder if you would introduce your men to our big picture audience. I should be very glad to, Sergeant Queen. We have with us today Sergeant Ritter, who was born and brought up in the Ukraine in Soviet Russia. And on my right, 